Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. Before we get started, let's get today's shout out out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Joshua Dung. Joshua was first to say first to one of my recent videos, and thus one's his shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here with a review of another neat whoop. Another whoop. I love whoops, to tell you the truth, folks. Uh, they are a lot of fun. If you haven't gotten into this, you're missing out on something. But this is the Go Fly Scorpion 80. I just got this in yesterday. And I'm excited to fly it already. Um, what's so special about it? Well, it's another 80 millimeter whoop. Um, it's also known as the Spedex Rex. It has a couple of names for it, but uh, Banggood is selling it as the Go Fly uh, Scorpion 80. Again, 80 millimeter whoop. It comes with a uh, reasonably nice camera, a 1200 TV line camera. It's the Cadex Turbo EOS 2 camera. Uh, it's NTSC PAL. Um, it also has global wide dynamic range which means it should be able to switch when you go into shady areas and bright areas. It should be able to uh, reasonably accommodate going between those. We'll find out if that actually works because I plan to fly it through the trees tomorrow. <laughs> but we'll see. It's a 130-inch sensor, so overall it's a reasonable camera for this little whoop. Um, the transmitter that goes with it, the FPV transmitter, is a 40-channel, 25 100 milliwatt transmitter. Uh, it's uh, selectable. It can be switched with smart audio. So, um, you know, the, you can manually change the settings on it, but I recommend using smart audio to do such since this drone also has on screen display, which I'll mention here shortly. Uh, the flight control board for this is a F404 uh, flight control board loaded up with, hold on, I'll tell you what the beta flight is in a second. It's loaded up with beta flight 353, dated November 18th. 2018 so you know uh, it's not the most recent version but reasonably uh, new version of, of uh, flight control board software um, again I mentioned it has on-screen display with smart audio capability that means you can change the channels and adjust the PIDs uh, using your goggles in combination with your controller out in the field you don't need to hook, really hook it up to beta flight to do such uh, the motors on this are 1103 11,000 kV brushless motors pretty powerful um, it also has a 12 amp 4 one BL Heli ESC in there. Now that uh, ESC is rated for 2S through 4S batteries. However, the drone is only really meant for 2S batteries. I believe its flight control board or its flight control board limits the max amount of uh, voltage that you can take in this to uh, a 2S battery. So I would not recommend trying 3S or 4S on this, although I'm sure people will out there do such. And if, you're bur if yours burns up, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, it does can use 2S batteries. Now, the version on Banggood, they are packaging it with a 2S 300 milliamp per hour battery. A uh, nice little 3S or 2S battery should give it some uh, power and minimal weight increase. So this uh, should uh, perform very well with this little 2S battery. Uh, however, keep in mind that you, you can use your own batteries. And I have a lot of these 4S or 2S 450 milliamp per hour batteries, a bit heavier, but I'm going to also try this out in the field to see if these work as well uh, with this particular drone when we fly it tomorrow. Now, the battery connector or battery holder, this is what's installed, uh, the uh, battery holder for the little 300 milliamp per hour, but again, I want to use 4S batteries, so they do give you another battery mount, I this uh, plate here, battery plate mount that you can install yourself. You know, just remove this one from with four screws and attach the, that one with four screws. They also give you Velcro, a Velcro strap, and a little double-sided tape uh, to hold the battery in place so it doesn't slide around. I use my own Velcro and my own double-sided tape, however, folks. I didn't notice that this was in the box, but it's in there. So just look hard. There's a little slot for it if, you don't, if you're looking for yours. So you get that in the box also. And uh, also you get with this... And this nice little instruction manual goes over the flight controller, the ESCs, and also the uh, video transmitter. But yeah, video transmitter, if you want to operate it manually. Uh, I would not do that again. I'd be using Smart Audio to do such. So, uh, this is finally available in Plug and Play, where you install your own receiver, uh, FreeSky, FlySky, DSM2, DSMX. So... Let's take it for a flight and see how it performs. So, hope you enjoy this flight. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and let's go for a flight of the GoFly 80. Uh, before we do, I just wanted to note something here. Notice the antennas, how they're installed here. This one here 
is your receiver antenna and this one here is your receiver antenna and they're 90 degrees out of whack and the idea being that gives proper diversity uh, this is your uh, FPV antenna the one on the back here and this one here seems to be uh, not zip tied uh, was shrink wrapped to that particular antenna but let's fire it up start it up and I am going to do a line of sight flight first we're going to start off line of sight and I should have turned this transmitter on first but I did now and selecting we're going to start off an angle and arming the motors and take it to the air. Now I'm flying it right now with a 450 milliamp hour. This isn't the stock battery, but I just want to see how it performs with this 450, because I got a lot of these 450s. And it performs rather well with a 450. To tell you. <laughs> Let's see how much speed we got here. It moves. It moves very well. <laughs> punching up not a lot of punch because of the weight of that now again this can only use 2s batteries uh, it's advertised for 2s um, you know the ESC's look like they could handle up to 4s I believe but uh, other components I guess Banggood's kind of uh, iffy about the other components on this drone whether they're able to actually handle a 4s battery so that's why folks Okay, let's put that stock 300 milliamp per hour in. Let's bring it over here first. I want to try one other thing. I got this set up for Horizon too. Let's put it in the Horizon and go up. <laughs> I should bring it over closer. I can. I don't need to go that far up. In Horizon mode, it's easy to do flips. See. <laughs> you like flips? That'll do them. <laughs> How about forward flip? Forward. And then a reverse flip. <laughs> For those of you who like flips, just go to horizon mode. Don't try to do that in acro. You're just going to crack them up in acro, like me. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, let's put that 300 milliamp per hour in and go fly some acro FPV. So, hope you enjoy the second part of the flight. Okay, let's go into some acro flying. Got this set to acro, and we're still armed. <laughs> it's armed again, and let's take to the air with the Go Fly 80 Scorpion. Let me get a feel for it first. First time I've flown this acro. So low. <laughs> My wife's gonna get that for me. Oh, oh gee. <laughs> okay, let's try that again, folks. Okay, uh, armed and we should be ready to go. Let's do it. Let me get a feel again. Let me go up high this time before I come down low. Let's see what I feel, what it feels like going around. Got a little, little tiny little battery in this thing. Oh, three, four. It's saying little battery already. I should have uh, upped that. But let's try that. I'm trying to get the feel of these pids. They are a little bit out. Let me see here. Maybe not too bad. Let's try some low runs coming through the trees. Going around this way, coming back through the trees. Trying to get a feel. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put a second battery in this. We're going to go for a second flight. This is just to get a, a warm feeling of this. But I want to raise that camera up a bit. And the reason being, I want to try some high-speed runs. But this is just the first flight of this. Get a feel. Get a feel flight. 3.3 volts, that's okay. Going by us. Coming between these two. Let's go up a little bit higher again. And, and Try that. Going by us. And I like to go low and fast, but I go a little too low and a little too fast, and I end up in the ground here. So coming around again, and this time, when this battery goes out, this little 300 milliamp hour, we're going to switch to 450 and see what type of flight time we get with a 450. But it's going low and fast. Okay, I got to come in right now. Coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. 
right behind us. <laughs> okay, let's try a 450 milliamp hour battery, see how that works. So hold on, folks. Okay, we're going to try that again, this time with a 450 milliamp hour battery, and I upped the camera angles. I set it up higher. I want to see if that will help me fly it a little bit faster this time. So let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. And this bigger battery and up, up camera angle. Let me get a feel for it first. <laughs> get a feel for it. We're going too low. There you too go. Too low, okay. Okay, let me adjust this a bit more. And arming, or acro, and arming, and take it to the air again. This time, but let me be a little more gentle in the beginning here. Try to get a feel first this new drone. Each one is, has a different feel to it, folks, so you gotta, you know, take it easy in the beginning, and then as you get going, oh, ooh, here comes somebody I'd like to chase after. <laughs> uh, they're running away from me. Okay, while we're up here, get a feeling for that. I'm feeling the weight of that 450. It is a little bit heavier as compared to that 300, quite a bit heavier, I guess 50% heavier. <laughs> so you do feel the weight of the 450, but I'm hoping it'll give me more flight time. You know, you can't be as aggressive with the 450 as with the 300 as you feel the weight. I am feeling the weight. But it's moving. It's moving a little thing. Okay, let's go, let's do a fly by us through there going up with this heavier battery and then coming back down again so it's working yeah give it more throttle here let me descend to stay in the air <laughs> so you don't hit the ground like I've been doing. I'm giving it quite a bit of throttle here. And then again, I got that camera angle pitched up pretty dang high. So this is, this is its highest speed, I guess, was the 2S battery. It is moving, <laughs> as you can see there. Fast thing. Zoom. <laughs> Try over. And over end with that 2S. Just doesn't have the oomph with the, with this bigger battery, it don't have that oomph that you see with the little 300. You gotta give it quite a bit more throttle. So we're gonna bring it, call it quits now. It's saying land now. I'm gonna start to believe it here shortly because Again, I am flying it pretty fast. So let's bring it in. And there we go. So that's the GoFly Scorpion 80. Um, a little 2S racer. Uh, I think it's be suitable for both indoor and outdoor flying, to tell you the truth, folks. Uh, even, you know, with that little 3S... You know, it has much more oomph because it's lighter weight. Putting, uh, not 3S, 2S with 300 milliamp, or 300 milliamp or, but this 2S with 450, uh, this is just for cruising, folks. You really ain't going to be able to do a lot of uh, flips and maneuvers because you do feel the extra weight of that, of this bigger battery. So, hope you enjoyed this flight, this Quadcopter 101, again with the GoFly Scorpion 80. Signing out. Hi, Quadcopter101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks. <music>
Thank you.